Governor Newsom today addressed the recent rolling blackouts. He's not happy. In fact, he sent an angry letter to the state energy overseers demanding to know why blackouts happened over the weekend with little notice to the public. Let me just make this crystal clear. Uh, we failed to predict and plan these shortages, and that's simply unacceptable. Just when we all need power the most, we don't have enough supply. That's such a simple problem, we've got a word for it, a shortage. What's not so simple is figuring out who to hold responsible for that shortage. But it does help to know the key players. You already know PG&E, the nation's biggest power company and convicted felon. Then there's the CPUC, which regulates for-profit utilities. It has authority over PG&E's spending and over rates, but not over the blackouts. Those were ordered by a third player. California ISO. You don't hear about them unless something's gone wrong, but the ISO is what's called the balancing authority. Similar to an air traffic controller, it keeps electricity running smoothly between the power plants and the utilities. Rolling blackouts are the ISO's emergency safety tool. Without them, the grid would flicker out uncontrollably. The ISO is also the power market for most of California, a sort of stock market for electrons. The ISO doesn't own the power, it connects next the power plants to companies that want to buy. And on that score, its leaders suggested today that utilities like PG&E aren't buying enough, and that regulators at the PUC should be making them buy more to prevent days like these. Governor Newsom wants an investigation, and he may need one. He's got political connections to all three of the big players in this story.